Alrighty, dudes. All right. So um, the the version of Duik that I gave you is very out of date. I didn't realize that things had changed so much. So this is just a very quick tutorial to show you guys just how to go about downloading and installing the newest version. All right. So I've given you the link. Rainbow Box uh, Rainbox Lab is the developers of Duik. Uh, and if you scroll down here, you'll have your download option. All right, so clicking on the download option, that's gonna take us to our files over here. They are going to ask for support, that's perfectly fine. We're just gonna click on download. All right, so that's gonna download and depending on how long it takes you to do that, uh, obviously depending on your machine or on your internet access, um, but yeah, once this is done, I will walk you through that process. Alrighty, so I've downloaded the file and uh, this is what's inside of it. All right, so I obviously, my download will automatically have been for, um, for the, the Mac, all right? Um, for Windows, you will have your correct file type. All right, so inside that folder, there will be a folder for help, all right? Um, this will kind of just be here if you want to find the readme on how to install things. We have optional panels, which we won't be taking a look at. Um, these are kind of just extras. These are new, actually. I myself don't know these at all, so I'm going to have to get back to you on that. Um, but under the script UI panels, this is what we are looking for. If a file ends in .jsx, it means that it is a plugin. All right, uh, I think that it's an exclusive file for After Effects. I'm not sure if the other Adobe software would also use .jsx, but um, yeah, this is the file that we want. Okay, so on a Mac, we need to install this information under our applications. Okay, so let me walk through the Mac and then I'll walk you through the Windows. All right, so I would need to go into Adobe After Effects. All right, I would go into my scripts. Okay, so applications, Adobe After Effects, scripts, and here it has to be in script UI panels. I put these here just to go through later because some of them break my After Effects. All right, so script UI panels, copy and paste Duik Vassal here. You'll probably have to give it some sort of um, like authorization or authentication, um, but then that will work the next time you open up After Effects. All right, um, for Windows, you would go to your C drive all right, so that would probably be like be under your, your actual machine. Um, and then you would go to your C drive, you would go to your program files, not the program files, 86 program files, find After Effects 2020, um, open it up, you'll have the exact same things here, go to scripts, script UI panels, copy paste. All right, so hopefully that makes life a lot more easier and under, like understandable. All right, the next thing that we need to do if I just quickly up open, uh, open up After Effects, is we need to check a button um, inside of After Effects, and this will be the same for Windows users and for Mac users, all right? So what we need to do, um, just to make sure that it, uh, that Duik works, is we are going to go to our Preferences, all right? So under Windows, there would be Edit, and you would find Preferences like down here somewhere. Um, on Mac, clicking on After Effects Preferences, all right? I'm just going to click on general and it will open up our preferences tab. All right. What we are looking for is the scripting and expressions tab. That's down here at the very bottom. Um, yours might not be laid out the exact same way as mine, but here it is, right? Scripting and expressions. We want to make sure that the very first block is ticked. Allow scripts to write files and access network. All right. This has to be on in order for um, like external plugins such as Duik to work. Otherwise, After Effects doesn't give it the security allowance. All right, so once you say OK, we can then go up to Window. And if you've done everything correct, you'll find Duik Vassal is right here. OK, clicking on that will open up this tab here. All right, you might see, uh, which one would it be? There is a way to bring it up. Settings, no. Um, you might like find yourself on this um, sort of page or a white page if you're opening it for the first time. Um, but then we have like our, our rigging, our automations, animations, and all of these are just quick tabs that we can jump into. So if I click on rigging, 
it'll take me to my rigging uh, tabs and I can then jump to like my automation, animation and camera work here in the top right corner. All right, and then in, inside of each of these options, uh, especially in rigging, you'll see that we've got a couple of options here, which is the bones that we create, the auto rig that we use to make those bones move, and then the controllers that we can use um, to create like customized controllers. All right, um, I'll cover the rest in the tutorial, uh, but that is how you go about installing the latest Dirk After Effects. Uh, I hope that this makes a lot more sense. All right, have a lack of week further. Ciao. I'll see you guys around.